and they do that. It's also all our issues too. Students in KHS's theater department are gearing up for this year's production, and this time they're off to see The Wizard. The classic tale of The Wizard of Oz is being brought to life with a cast and crew of talented students who will work hard for weeks to ensure a magical performance. With costumes, sets, and music to match, this production promises to transport audiences down the yellow brick road and into the land of Oz. Mr. Largent takes on the challenge of directing this year's show. Here's his thoughts on how the additions went. I think they went really well, and I was surprised to see how many students actually came out. We are rehearsing every day, except for Friday. It's pretty intense, but we're going to be rehearsing Monday through Thursday until the show opens. I try to respect the intent of the original creator. That's important, but kind of try to bring our own unique spin and to make it unique to this community as well. Mr. Largen wants to give students an experience that they might not have had before. We interviewed Sharon Jankowski and Amelie van der Schwa, two of the plates leads, to gain some insight on how the auditions went and how rehearsals have been going so far. I think auditions went really well and it's a welcoming environment to audition in, which is good for the performers. We're figuring stuff out and it's, it's been going good so far. I've been in the auditorium going over choreography for Munchkin Land. It's going pretty smooth. Be on the lookout for shows at 7 p.m. on the 8th, 9th, and the 10th of June, and 2 p.m. on the 11th. For KTV, I'm Ella Bean. Recently, Killingly High School alumni Suzanne Davis came to host an author workshop and job shadow to encourage others to follow their dreams. Here's more from Suzanne Davis. My biggest challenge that I had to overcome was believing in myself and taking the opportunities that came as they came. My first book won a kind of big award and I was afraid that I wasn't ready, that for many reasons it wasn't the right time and I put the book on a shelf but I kept writing and so it's always a story that I share to help young writers give themselves permission to really follow that dream right from the start with every opportunity that comes. Junior Sharon Jankowski describes how this workshop allows her to improve her writing skills while working with a professional. It was nice to work with someone who has been writing for a good amount of time and actually has things published so I know like what it's actually like to be a writer. I'm glad I got this opportunity because it was nice to write more because I forgot how good it feels to write. Sharon also shares what writing means to her and how she can represent herself with it. I'm inspired to write by moments in my life that are important to me. I want to write about them so that I can relive them. Sophomore Ada Sandberg shares what she took away from the writing workshop. If you have a lot on your mind, it's always easy to just write about it. If you want to write, you can really write about anything. It doesn't have to be a specific thing. You can kind of do it whenever you want, and it doesn't have to be consistent either. Suzanne Davis explains how Killingly High School gave her the opportunity she needed to succeed. Killingly High School really gave me the opportunity to go after my dream as a writer. When I was here, my teachers and guidance counselors believed in me. They helped get me opportunities, paid for my college applications. Suzanne Davis encourages others to pursue their goals and follow their dreams. For KTV, I'm Kyla Lopes.
Today, we live in the digital age. With media consumption at an all-time high, one of the most popular forms of media is television. Public Access was founded by the Federal Communications Commission to provide free media and opportunity to anyone, meaning you don't have to be a Hollywood executive to have your own TV show. Our local studio located at 61 Myrock Avenue is always looking for new shows. Public Access Television allows anyone to share their ideas and projects across a wide variety of stations, including Breeze Line, Frontier TV, and Comcast Xfinity. Public TV is not non-commercial, meaning you don't have to pay to use the studio. That also means there will be no ads interrupting your show. Not only can you create your own TV shows live in the studio, you can also shoot and edit a show to air. The possibilities are truly endless. If you or anyone you know is interested in participating in public access television, check out the Community Access Studio located in Waterford. You can learn more about them at the Sec TV website or call 860-440-3164. Public access television is a great way to express yourself. We hope to see your project soon. KTV would like to thank the following sponsors. Railside Tavern, Drock Trucking, Girardi Insurance, Spiral, Marika's Place, Johnny's Pizza, Boudreaux's Welding Company, Logie's Greenhouse, and Prone Cuts. Thank you. Hey, what's up guys? I'm Jack Richardson. Uh, I wrestle and I'm a senior at Killingly High School, and here we go. Uh, so individually, I just want to uh, win New England's again and just have fun this year. And uh, for the team, I want to do the same thing, have fun, uh, work hard in the room, and yeah. The season started strong for Jack. Going into the midway point of the season, the KC Yates Memorial Tournament, he was undefeated and won the Lancer Invitational for his third consecutive year. What are your expectations for the upcoming tournament? Uh, to just dominate as a team and individually. And just, uh, yeah, that's it. Jack finished the season undefeated. After EC season states, he went on to face his second biggest challenge, state opens. I mean, I expect to just wrestle my best, and I'm really coming for this one because last year I lost in the finals, and I'm just ready to get this one back. I've been waiting a long time, so I'm ready to go. After winning state opens for the first time, Jack moved on to New England's with high expectations after winning last year. Uh, so going into New England's, I'm just looking to uh, wrestle hard, get on my offense, and just win and dominate. And that's my plan. Jack went on to be the first Killingly wrestler to ever win two New England championships. 